have had six different rallycross finales since 2010 and every single time we've had a different winner and here we are Jen at the beginning of the seventh round in X Games history for the rallycross will we see another fresh winner nobody has done the double will we see somebody do the double here might it be Isaksen for the first time might it be Sandel was that a jump start from Isaksen we'll have to wait and see what the stewards have got to say Isaksen leads can block up on the inside he's pushing past uh, Thomas Heikkinen as they go through there and it's Sandel battling and touching and there's a big goal oh, no. big there's mess. a big and it is his Ken Block together with Doran, together with Deacon. They are off immediately. So Isaksen, Isaksen has been given a full start. So therefore, the leader of this race is either going to be Tanner Faust, who's going around the outside, or maybe it's going to be the other sister, Ford Fiesta, that comes over the line. It might be Thomas Heikkinen. Let's see what the stewards say. As we saw Isaksen go past the flag stand, he was shown a black flag. He is going to have to report to the penalty box and wait for a stop and go penalty. That's at the discretions of the marshals, how long he stays there. Just a quick stop and go and get back, to, back into traffic. And man, that was close. Almost coming into contact there with Pastrana. He was indeed. I can at least Trava, uh, uh, Tanner Faust has got the opportunity for silver. He's got the opportunity for a gold medal. Travis Pastrana in bronze medal position here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a Ford leading from a Ford in second, but we've got a Dodge in third place. Isaacson, he did his stop go, and he's still in fourth. How can he do that? Amazing driving. It was a quick stop, and there was a gap in traffic. He managed to slot into there as he battles back behind Travis Pastrana. That three of ten leading is Heikkinen. He has won in Munich. There is Pastrana getting alongside uh, Isaksen as they come onto the dirt for this the third time. Pastrana going to make that dodge start extremely wide. And Isaksen edges through, edges through and goes through. And Pastrana, of course, has to go around the outside. Uh, Scott Speed goes into the wall. Reese Millen comes through, I reckon, to fourth position as we catch back up with the leader, the Finn, Thomas Heikkinen. Lots of chaos in that dirt for sure. Heikkinen has to play it cool here. He was very late on the brakes, locked him up. That's the smoke we saw, and that's going to give Tanner a chance to come up front. you got to conserve a little bit of momentum. Lots of power, but still, the smooth driving counts, and Tanner is going to use all of that to his advantage if he has any chance of getting through. Heikkinen, at this point, is so far ahead. Pastrana now in fourth position. Isaksen having got through to that bronze medal third slot. So then, first comes through, then second comes through. Squealing those tyres. Big, big pressure that is being put through the outside of those Cooper tyres. 650 horsepower uh, with these half million dollar cars that we've got here. They're about 2,800 pounds, including the driver. Four-wheel drive, of course, in an immense amount of acceleration. Not to 60 miles an hour in under two seconds. Heikkinen and Faust in one, two there. Those guys are teammates, and they're driving in virtually identical Ford Fiesta STs. Same horsepower, similar handling characteristics. We've set them up just a little bit differently, and that is a battle between teammates. As these guys come onto the home straight, there is Reese Millen. He's in fourth position. How tantalizingly close is a medal here at X Games. There's a lot of debris in the middle of the track here because there was a coming together with Patrick Sandell and I think it was Scott Speed whilst we're on the last lap. Patrick Sandell's bonnet is in a right mess and indeed Scott Speed I can see retiring as I look out of the window. But we're going to concentrate with the leaders on the screen here. Heikkinen comes over the line in front of us, Jen. That is a lead of three and a half seconds. That's a big lead. That's going to be tough. They've both done their shortcut laps. Nobody gets that advantage at this point. And so Heikkinen's just going to try and drive it clean. A little bit too sideways around the corner. And look at the debris field. He's got to navigate his way through. He's going to need you in the co-driver seat, Jen. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I'm not there. There's a lot of stuff to hit. Tanner Faust managing to move some things out of the line. And Isaacson in third place, battling for a, a third place position. Now then, as these guys come through over the line to complete lap eight, there is Heikkinen. There has been a, a problem with Patrick Sandell's sister, Ford. 
to that of the leader. He's limping in there. There's some debris, maybe a tire that has been uh, punctured on the home straight. So the crowd are on their feet, straining their necks to see what's going on, but it's not a problem for Thomas Eichner. Is there no stopping this Finn at the moment? Not at all is the answer to that question, I suppose, Jen. Gold in Munich, and he's won the two domestic rounds since then. He's looking to make it four in a row. Now then, we're on board with Thomas Heiken, and look at the debris. That's a straw bale. I reckon that's part of a tyre that goes through on the right-hand side there from maybe Sandel's car that has retired, has it? It's retiring very slowly. Uh, something rolls over the bonnet there of the leader. Lap and a half to go. It really is a bit of a demolition derby, unfortunately. It all happened by the time they came down to the pinch point on the first lap, but still in this race, is Heikkinen from Faust, from Isaksen. Fourth is still Reese Millen with the Hyundai. And Faust is not making up any time. He's actually dropped a second since we checked in last. This is going to go down. There they go, white flag, one lap remaining. As they come for to just the last half a mile here, there is Ken Block. He shredded the left-hand rear tyre. And I think as Heikkinen got a puncture, Heikkinen's got a puncture. Front left, I think there's no rubber left. Let's see when he comes around this corner. Heikkinen, no. OK, Toby, don't get ahead of yourself. Um, it's all too exciting, Ken Jen. Block sure has, though, <laughs> and he's definitely in the way at this point. Um, this is crazy out there. There's so much damage and so much debris on the track. Heikkinen comes across the line. He is the first ever double gold medalist in Rallycross in X Games. The Finn is unstoppable at the moment. That's the last four races that he has won. Munich, then we went to New Hampshire, then we went to Tennessee, and then he's won here at Los Angeles. Talafaus takes silver with second position, and bronze goes to Isaksen. Look at him donutting on the infield, but the man who is on top of the world here in Los Angeles is Thomas Heikkinen.